Welcome back uh, to agriculture form one. We're still on topic three, uh, which is agriculture technology. Remember, we were discussing on the farm structure, steps of farm structures. So we categorize uh, the types of farm structures into five. So we are on the on category number four of farm structures, which is the farm tools and the equipments. Farm tools and equipments as a, a type of farm structures. So we are proceeding from where we stopped and now we are here to discuss on the importance of farm tools and equipments and the Categorize them further into five. So we're also going to describe the categories of those farm tools and equipments. So now let us start on the importance of farm tools and equipments. How are these farm tools and equipments important in as far as agricultural production is concerned? Number one, these farm tools and improve uh, uh, equipment increase efficiency and make farm operations easier remember when we were listing examples of agricultural technology we mentioned of combined harvester the uh, combined harvester at least will make harvesting uh, to be very easy on a large scale operation so this makes the operation fast as well as easier, even if it's a large scale. Even if it's a large scale, just because these uh, equipments are very fast. Apart from that, the use of some of these farm tools and equipments minimize injuries to livestock. For example, troker and cannula can be used rather than a knife to leave. Uh, animal of uh, blood. Uh, when we are getting rid of the blood from the cattle, locally we use the knife which can injure the livestock. But instead of the knife, we can use what we call troca as well as a cannula uh, to relieve the blood from the cow. So at least uh, will minimize injuries to livestock. The last importance of uh, farm tools and equipment is that uh, enhance production. For example, can enhance milk production. We mentioned the use of milking machines. These ones, uh, they are very effective than using uh, hands when it comes to milking, more especially when one has large, uh, a large herd of cattle more especially the daily cattle. So milking machines at least will enhance milk production and it is also very effective rather than using a bare hands. So that's it on the importances. Uh, but now let us look on the categories of farm tools and equipments. These farm tools and equipments, they are categorized into five so we have five categories of farm tools and equipments and these are garden tools and equipments we have livestock production tools and equipments we also have workshop tools and equipments but from that plumbing tools and equipments then last year we have mass only tools and equipments all these uh, will aid agricultural production, whether on crop production as well as animal production. Let us now describe each one of the category, <clears throat> how they work on the farm or where they are used. 
Let's start with the first category of farm tools and equipments, which is garden tools and equipments. These are tools and equipments that a farmer needs for crop production. So in short, we are talking of all the materials which a farmer use them to aid crop production, to aid crop production. So we refer them as garden tools and equipment. So some are uh, uh, right from the first stage of crop production, I will talk about that is land preparation, uh, up to the final stage of harvesting, that's it, uh, and the post harvesting practices. A number of tools are required to carry out most of these activities efficiently. So all those tools which we use starting from land preparation up to harvesting, uh, all those tools which we use in crop production will refer them as garden tools and equipment. So, and uh, there are so many, many field uh, management practices that are done on crops, such as pruning, uh, pests and disease control and watering. So all these require these tools uh, and equipment. So what are these examples of garden tools and equipment? We have machete, axe, mattock or pick axe. We have a simple hoe, a fork to hoe, the spade, wheelbarrow, watering can, rake, saw auger, a, a knapsack sprayer, a sprinkler, uh, we have garden, gardener, gardener shell, we have pruning saw, we have uh, secateurs, we have garden trowel, uh, or hand trowel, we have the garden fork, uh, or hand fork, we have manure fork, uh, pruning hook, shovel, and many others. So, uh, on the pictures there, uh, there are some of the examples which we have mentioned in, te uh, in terms of, uh, I mean, the pictures of the garden tools and equipment. So, some of what we have mentioned, they are displayed on the pictures, as you can see. Another category of uh, farm tools and equipment is what we call livestock production tools and equipment. So uh, these are tools and equipment used for routine management practices in a livestock. So there are also several activities which are done or operations which are done under livestock uh, production, under livestock production. So those activities, in order for them to be operated, we also require some tools and equipment. So all those tools and equipment are used uh, for routine management practices in livestock, we refer them as livestock production tools and equipment. So uh, some of the management practices which we do in livestock, uh, which will require some tools and equipment are as follows, identification, for easy identification of the livestock, uh, castration, dehorning, disease and parasite control, breeding, milking, and even restraining animals. These are some of the management practices uh, that uh, require life, uh, tools and equipment in livestock. So they facilitate uh, easy handling of livestock that's minimizing injuries to livestock and stock handlers so what are the examples of these uh, livestock production tools and equipment we have illustrator bodizer these two illustrator and bodizer they are there uh, they are used for castration they are used for castrating the animals then we have syringes and uh, hypodemic needles, uh, they, are, they are used for vaccination, then we have water, wolf trimmer, uh, wolf trimmer is used for trimming uh, the wolves, overgrown wolves, 
then we have the strip cup we have the troca cannula they are needle structures uh, needle like uh, yeah, equipments which we use maybe to relieve the animals from blood then we have uh, hard bloom we have wool shears they are there to uh, trim the uh, wool from the uh, sheep we have ear knocker these ones uh, we use the ear knocker to uh, leave the tag on the ear of the animal for his identification then we have the boring uh, lead stick uh, star pump or bucket pump milk churn milk strainer or sieve uh, these ones they are used when it comes to milking activity then we have hot iron hot iron we can use it for identification purpose as well as even trimming uh, uh, trimming the uh, horns so that they should be flat they should not be yeah they should they should be flat apart from that the tree uh, the, the teeth creeper uh, this one we use it uh, to remove the pointed part of the teeth more, exp more especially from the pigs uh, the young ones but from that dredging gun dosing gun these ones they are used uh, when it comes to giving medication to the animals then we have uh, the honing wire uh, the honing iron uh, they are used uh, to trim the uh, horns so that they should be they should not be pointed to avoid uh, causing harm to their fellow animals as well as the farmers you know have the chaff cutter this one is used to uh, 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 to cut the grass so that you can feed the animals so this since these tools and equipment they are used to aid the livestock production that's why they are under livestock production uh, tools and equipment so these are some of the pictures being displayed uh, of the names which we have already mentioned yeah so the third category uh, of uh, farm tools and equipments it's workshop tools and equipments so these are tools and equipments uh, which are used for the construction and maintenance of farm structures here we are talking of the farm buildings those farm buildings you need to construct the farm buildings for uh, animals uh, the farm buildings let's say for keeping the crop produce so those farm buildings will have the roofing part so all those materials which we are going to use when it comes to maintaining the roofing part or constructing the roofing part they are under workshop tools and equipments so they are as it follows uh, we have a cross cut so these are the examples a uh, back saw, coping saw, a uh, compass, a uh, keyhole saw, rip saw, bow saw, wood, a uh, chisel, a uh, rasp, um, marking a uh, gorge. We have jack plane. Uh, we have a uh, clamp. We have claw hammer. We have a uh, sledge hammer, blaze, and bead. So of course these ones they are easy uh, they are either being used to trim the uh, timber or the wood which we are going to use for the roofing uh, or making it smooth uh, as well as even hammering those uh, wood Another category is plumbing tools and equipments of farm tools and equipments plumbing tools and equipments these are tools used in irrigation unit and waterways for animal dipping and drinking in uh, the modern world in this modern world uh, even the animals they will need the water system for drinking you need to construct the sink where the water uh, will be channeled to the sink so that the animals can be drinking and also nowadays we are familiar with this irrigation system uh, in this modern world uh, we are now frequently using irrigation units so there is need for the water to be channeled from the water source to where the water uh, uh, can be used let's say in the field 
So it means there is need for uh, you to connect the pipes from the water source to the field where the irrigation will be done as well as from the water source to the sink where the animals will be drinking. So all those materials which will be used to connect those pipes uh, so that the water should flow easily from the water source to the field as well as the water source to the uh, sink where the animals will be drinking. So those materials are uh, there under plumbing tools and equipments. So we have some examples. We have pipe wrench. This one it is used for opening and closing water pipes. Then we have pipe cutter. This one it is used for cutting or trimming metal uh, water pipes. Then we have stock and die. Uh, this one is used for cutting threads on a pipe. So that's on plumbing tools and equipments. Then the last category and uh, the farm tools and equipments is what we call masonry tools and equipments. And uh, masonry tools and equipments, we're talking of uh, tools which are, are used also when it comes to constructing the farm structures. But now uh, we are talking on the wall part, the wall part. So when you are constructing the farm buildings, there is this part whereby you construct the walls and there is the roofing part. Remember, we have already categorized the farm tools and equipments under the uh, roofing part as the uh, uh, as the workshop tools and equipments. But now, uh, the tools and equipments which we are going to use when building or constructing the wall part of the farm building, they are under masonry tools and equipments. So we use them when it comes to laying the bricks, cement, uh, binding uh, those uh, walls. So we have some examples. We have the leveling load, split level, masons, trowel, wood float, metal float, uh, clobber, mason square, plumb, bob, Tampa, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So these materials is either uh, you are going to use them when it comes to laying the bricks, uh, cement, uh, blocks, uh, or when it comes to making the wall to be straight. So all those materials which are used when constructing the uh, walls of the farm buildings, they are under masonry tools and equipment. Now let us look on the the last type of farm structures. Remember, you should not confuse the last I mean, the categories which we were discussing. The uh, these other categories which we were discussing. They are under this type of farm <coughs> structure, which is the uh, farm tools and equipments. Farm tools and equipments is one of the type of farm structure. So uh, those uh, uh, farm tools and equipments. Is, uh, we have now categorized further into five. But the loads and bridges, they fall under category of the types of farm structures. Types of farm structures. So these loads and bridges, they also aid agricultural production. That's why they are under uh, the types of farm, uh, of, uh, farm structures. They are under the types of farm structures. Remember, the farm structures were talking of those which will help in agricultural production. So, loads and bridges will also help a lot in as far as agricultural production is concerned. So, for efficient agricultural production, all utilities uh, must be timely. So, the farmer requires the produce to be where they are needed at the right time, that is, place and time utility. So all weather loads allow the farmers to get inputs anytime they want and transport their farm produce as they wish. So good loads which are passable throughout irrespective of the time of the year are therefore a very important aspect. So loads and bridges should be the very important aspects in agricultural production just because they will help when it comes to 
uh, transportation and communication. So bridges should be constructed over levers to allow communication and transportation throughout the year. This is important because most of the farm produce are transported by loads. Even those airlifted or shipped will have to use loads to, to and from airports and seaports respectively. So we have seen that loads and bridges are very, very important. So in order for them to stay for a long period of time, there is need for maintenance of those loads and bridges. So now let us look on the loads and bridges maintenance. How can we maintain uh, weather factors may result in loads and bridges damage? So the following should be done to ensure they remain a good order. Number one, dump tar mark loads should be recarpeted when worn out. Even though the loads, some of the loads there, there is dam mark, but they are worn out sometimes they are removed so you need to recarpet them and also earth loads should be graded and maintained the earth loads should be graded and maintained vegetation forming canopy over loads should be cleared some of the vegetation they form a uh, dense canopy uh, over the load so they hinder uh, more especially uh, to see clearly where uh, the uh, the machines uh, when you are operating the machines on the load so they need to be cleared apart from that damaged bridges should be repaired and the low ones uh, which allow water to overflow during rainy season should be raised Vegetation at sharp corners be cleared to allow for distance judgment by drivers to avoid accidents. Uh, we find that uh, where there is a sharp corner, then there is also too much vegetation. Uh, so there is need also to clear vegetation at sharp corner. All the necessary load signs such as bump ahead, sharp corners, zebra crossing and so many others should be clearly visible and if there are traffic lights in a busy load should always be in working condition to minimize traffic jams there should be dual carriage in the very busy parts of the country and lastly uh, drainage channels should be clearly uh, created of vegetation and desilted so that's it uh especially on the importance of uh, farm tools and equipments as well as their categories and the last part uh, was on the type of uh, farm structures which is loads and bridges so you go through to the uh, uh, questions, uh, try to answer the questions which have just been displayed there uh, so that you are aware you have grasped the content.